Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss the another topic of the end unit number four. That is a swing equation with respect to their point-to-point -point solution of that swing equation under the transient state stability. The swing equation is generally used to finding out the dynamics of that uh, the oscillating power with respect to that at del or uh, how much power we are getting uh, at the synchronous motor with respect to the synchronous generator at, at to the input side when the, under the dynamic condition or under the steady state condition. For that case, the swing equation is generally preferable. Okay, so that as we, the swing equation as given is ready but what? It's a d square del upon dt squared is equal to p upon n or it's equal to the p uh, one upon n is equal to p a kya hai? p i minus p, uh, p m to the sign of del. p i it's also called it's a different to what? It is an input power and the p m sign of del it's a different is also called as it's a different to p uh, p i it's a p i and uh, mechan electrical power minus mechanical power. Okay, so its solutions use the plot of del versus the t. So generally that uh, swing equation generally used to finding out the value of that del with respect to the how much dynamics or how much rate of change of del with respect to time for that case swing equation generally preferable. So generally indicate that del start decreasing after the reaching to the maximum value. Indicate that it should be the region starting from this is the a del value or it start increasing then it's at a decreasing. It's so far so far the it will get you getting the maximum value at that point is at what uh, it's a del max. And this is an elevator. This is a del max. We are getting this elevator. What we are getting the maximum power at this value. So it is equal to del zero, and this is equal to del max. Okay. Uh, so this is a del, and this is a t. So this is a del max. So indicate this is accelerate decreasing after reaching to the maximum value. So thus the system is assumed to be stable. Whereas the swing equation is nothing but what it's a non-linear equation eh? and it's for generally used to finding out solution is not a feasible normal solution is not feasible under that case the uh, step-by-step -step procedure is a very simple one and generally used for uh, is a common method for solving this equation okay so in this method we are solving the above swing equation uh, for during the small in time interval that is a del t is calculated by assuming that accelerating power should be the calculated at the beginning of the interval it should be the constant one for the middle to the interval beginning should be the constant means what the accelerating power is already calculated at the, uh, already calculated at the uh, beginning of that interval whereas interval should be the del t should be the calculated for the different value of that del across the small time okay so let us consider the end time interval begin with is ready but what what is the n time interval is ready but n minus t of of the change of t so the angular position to the rotor at the instant of that del n minus one as shown in the figure this one the accelerating power is ready but a p a n minus one and hence the acceleration power is ready but a calculator at the instant is ready but from the t to the n minus one of our pi by two of uh, n n minus one by two of del of t okay so this is ready but the step one step two and the step by three of that swing equation so here the, in the step one there is the accelerating power versus the t upon del of uh, upon del of t uh, curve should be there in that case the peak should be changes from the pa n then n minus one then the n minus two for the different value of that t so for the n minus two, we are getting this but the maximum power, then n minus one is a less power, and this is the for the n, it's a little bit less power. So this is but the discrete time uh, solutions of that uh, power angle core, and this is but the continuous power angle core is there under the swing equation. So this is the second with respect to that omega versus t of t, and third is but the del versus t of t. So first core is but the power angle core, power versus t of uh, power versus t. Second is a different to omega versus t by del of t, and third is a different to del versus t of t for the different value of that time intervals across this case from the n minus 2, n minus 3 by 2, n minus 1, n minus 1 by 2 to the n. This is a n minus 2, n minus 1, and the n is k. Okay, so during this interval, the t should be changes from the n 3 by 2 to the n minus 2, del of 1 by 2 out to the t upon del by 2. Okay. Uh, so during this interval to the change in the rotor speed can be written is nothing but what del of omega n from the figure of that b b figures of nico mil jayega del of omega 
uh, n minus 1 by 2 is equal to del t a alpha into the n minus 1 is equal to del t upon n into the p a into the n minus 1. So that the speed can be at the end of the interval can be written as nothing but what? By simple equation, this is the speed and that is k is that. The speed is going to be the constant at the omega n minus 1 throughout the interval from the t is equal to this one. Thus, the change in the angular position under the end interval is nothing but a given by del of omega n from the equation for this one. Okay, so this is the value of the del at the end of the end interval is nothing but what n minus 1 plus del of n del n. Okay, n minus 1 plus del of n1. So this is the liberty equation of, uh, shown in the figure. What is the value of that del? Is it but a del uh, n ka value kitna hai? del n plus del n minus 1. Is it that? Del n minus 1 plus del n. Okay. Uh, so that's that del of n is the but uh, leads to the what equation del t. So we have to just put that value of that uh, del of n from the equation number 72 to the equation number 73. Uh, 73. So we are getting the del of n after simplification. With analogy to the equation del of n minus 1, that is del of t omega n minus 3 by 2. Now, value of that omega n minus t from the equation we are so just putting in the equation number 74. So, 3 by 2 kappan value directly put ka sakti usme. So, we are getting a certificate value is that but the del of omega n inter term of omega n del terms. So, that equation number 76 is due the incremental in the angle of del during the any interval with respect to the interval is not equal to n minus 1. So, this is the value of that del across the with the changes of that load angle across the same equation so that what should be the effect on the pi what should be the effect on that pe or the accelerating power so that's by um, incrementing in the occurring the first interval after the fault should be the applied equation number so uh, 76 become what del of 1 is equal to del t upon square upon m into the pa0 into the 2 so this is the uh, value of that del at which the acceleration should be the carried out okay so this is the rate of change of uh, value of load angle or the power angle okay so in next lecture we will we will discuss the critical clearing angle and, the, and its time that is the last topic in the unit number four thank you so much